Hello, I'm Scott Sullivan Bell, coming back from Sacramento, California, April 1st, 2017, 2.21 in the afternoon, perfect day to talk about sales. It is always a good day to talk about sales. And I see this a lot lately where people are talking about why would a manager in a hiring process put pressure against me and tell me to sell them something. And it could be that they're saying, sell me this penny. It could be to say, sell me this pen. It could be just like, show me your sales process. You, you have to remember, if you're going on a sales call and you're going for an interview, it is an audition, right? So let's just imagine for a moment that you're in a Broadway or you're on Broadway and you want to be on one of the famous shows. You don't just get to walk in and be like, hey, I'm that guy, I'm that girl, put me in, coach, I want to play. No, the producer, the, the guy, the girl who's running the show is like, show me the goods. And look, I know you're famous, I know you're good, show me the goods. And every manager, like it, sales is very traditional. So a lot of the things that I've learned about sales that like I've seen sales trainers do is really easy for me to go, well, I'm gonna do that too until I realize that a lot of stuff they teach isn't right, okay? But this is a way that a lot of, a lot of industries work where it's a tradition, where the person that you're meeting with had somebody make them sell them something. So guess what? You're gonna have to sell something. And I see people get like, oh, put out of place. I was gonna use another word, but I'm not gonna use it. They get all put out of place and they get all freaked out and they're like, well, I'm not going to do that. I'm above that. You got to remember that a sales call is an addition. That person that is saying, hey, you want to work here? This is the gate that you got to go through or this is the, the ticket that you got to claim or this is the thing that you got to do to get the job. And if you go at it wrong and you say, hey, look, I'm above that. You look, why are you making me do this? If you're good, who cares? It's two minutes out of your life. It's two minutes for you to demonstrate that you know what you're talking about. Now, last year, to help an organization out, I interviewed pretty close to 200 people. And I would put them through the process. And if they freaked out about me asking them a question, it made me go, maybe this isn't the right person. And I had to have this conversation with a sales guy. He was like, you know what? I've been in sales forever. Why would you make me sell you something? I'm like, look, I need to know that if I put pressure on you as a salesperson, what you're going to do. And a job interview should be uncomfortable. It should make you question. I want to see what you're going to do. I want to see your very best. I don't want somebody to come in and just tell me that they can close. I don't want somebody to just come in and say, hey, look, here's my W-2. You got to know that the manager's job, the owner's job is to put pressure on you. And if you freak out, it could very well mean that you are not the right person. And this is an ego issue. I have seen plenty of people do it. And sometimes when I get hired to go work with people, the person's like, so why should I choose you? That's all this question is, is why should I choose you? Why are you better than everybody else? Do you think I'm gonna go, you know what? I'm above answering that question. I'm above answering that question. I am upset that you have even bothered to ask me why I'm so good, okay? See how that doesn't make sense? So if you go to a, a sales interview, it is an audition and they're saying, why are you good? And then you throw like a little fit like, I can't, I'm not going to sell you a pen. Why would I sell you a pen? That's stupid. I don't sell pens. I'm not in the business of selling pens. I'm not going to sell you a penny. I'm not going to, they want to see what you are in depression. Now know this too, is most managers have no idea what they're looking for. They just like, it's out of tradition. They're like, here, sell this to me. But they know that it, what you're doing is the audition. A job interview is an audition for you to do sales. And if you're going to freak out and have a problem about having to sell something, maybe it may mean that you're in the wrong room. And yeah, that's controversial. You may look and go like, Scott, this is ridiculous. I'm cool with that. I really don't care. Right? But I've been around salespeople long enough. I've trained them enough to know what business owners talk about and what they're looking for. Yeah, sometimes the managers have no clue. They're just doing it to have some fun or they're just doing it because it's tradition. So what? It's not a job interview, it's an addition. Just remember, if you're going to Broadway, you're gonna be on a show, you're gonna play for a team, they're gonna put you through the paces. They're gonna put you into an addition, okay? Now, if you could do a small favor for me in the box down below, leave a comment, question, or story, that'd be fantastic. To the right or to the left, there's a subscribe button. You know what you gotta do, you gotta subscribe. And then last of all, you can send it out to all your friends via StumbleUpon, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, why not even LinkedIn? Scott Silvan Bell, we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, aloha.